win. Uh, I, I thought uh, uh, our, our defense was really solid uh, in the first half, and, and you know that's been an issue. Uh, and, and, and a lot of focus always goes on offense and, and, and how you shoot the ball, but but our defense uh, wasn't helping us the way it, it needed to uh, in those first three games in the league. So it was nice to to see that effort. And uh, I mean, again, we. Uh, you know, I think we have a chance to continue to play well and, and play better. You know, I, I, you know, we're obviously happy to win, but uh, you know, uh, I think there are shots out there that, that we could still be capable of making. Um, but it was nice to see us get off to a, a good start in the game and, and, and build a lead in the first half and, and have, uh, have them chase us uh, most of the game uh, because we've been, we've been playing from behind too much uh, early in games, so it was great to see that. Uh, I thought Trey, you know, hit some hit some big threes uh, in the first half to get us that lead, as well as the way Obi um, played early in the game uh, offensively was was good for us as well. Uh, I thought, you know, Eric didn't shoot well tonight, uh, but but he he made one of the biggest plays in the game uh, in the first half with his uh, his charge uh, on Hawkinson and pick up his third foul and uh, you know it was huge for us and uh, and then you know the second half Cody was. Uh, Really feeling it, and when they were in the zone, he uh, you know he shot it great to uh, to get us going after not starting well uh, to start the second half. I think I summed it all up, so I could probably go. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Question? Was any with, uh, with Cody? It seems like he'll rush a three sometimes, or in the first half he made a bad pass in transition. It doesn't seem like that affects his confidence at all. But I, both in both instances, he made the behind the back pass and he hit a three. Is that just confidence with him, or what does that say about him? I, I was I was concerned, and I and forgive me for not knowing the exact two games, but he went one for nine in one game, and then the following game didn't didn't score again. So, you know, I, I was just you know curious to, to see where he was mentally, and, and want to you know encourage him to, to stay aggressive and believe in, in his skills and, and trust his talent. And, and I didn't really need to have that conversation because it didn't affect him. You know, that's, uh, that's the way he is. Uh, really love coaching him. And, you know, you, you could see how much potential he has to keep getting better. And, you know, I love the creativity that, that, he, that he shows with his passing. You know, I think that was the one moment that, that the building w was at its peak today with, with the behind the back pass to Willie. So uh, besides, you know, the three point shots that, that uh, you know, everyone is enjoying him make. Was it easier said than done to come to this game with no pressure, even though it's starting 0-3 in league play? I mean, you're always going to naturally, you know, feel that. And, and I, I, I was, uh, you know, we were hard on the guys early in the week. And, you know, you can't have losing, you know, become acceptable or comfortable. So, it, it, you know, and then as the week progressed, I think it was more about hopefully trying to build the guys up and, and, and letting them know that, Hey, you know, we, we played three really difficult games, two on the road, you know, teams that are going to be near the top of the, of the conference. And, you know, we, we were only like five field goals, minus five field goals in all three of those games, you know, from those three opponents. You know, the, the free throw differential hurt us uh, and, and some other things in, in losing those games. But, uh, you know, we, we were pretty close to, to, uh, to capitalizing and we just didn't. So um, it was nice to see us uh, break through tonight. You're new to the Pac-12, but there just seems to be so much parity in the league this year. How do you do that as a coach and talking to your team? I, I didn't look at this game any different than uh, Arizona coming here, you know, or, or uh, playing at USC because uh, you have to take each one of these games very seriously. There's there's uh, no games where you could just show up and, and think that you're going to get a win. And, you know, Washington State's no different. You know, they've... Uh, They've already beaten UCLA, uh, and and they've uh, they've been really competitive against other quality teams at a conference. So, uh, and they have they have good players. So you know it's it's you, know, you have to have guys that that are that are willing to show up every night, and uh, that's what's going to take the win. You know through the long haul in the league. And what areas did you want to see defensive improvement? I, I think like just our, our energy and, and our. Uh, uh, our activity with, with movement, you know, hand movement and body movement. You know, we, uh, you know, I think the best defensive game we played this year was Texas A&M here, and and we were getting deflections, we were active, we were challenging shots, we were, you know, forcing a really good team to miss shots, and 
and, and it was a similar situation uh, with how we performed defensively here in the first half to, to, to create the margin that we did. The players always talk about how much they like the ability to take a bad shot and not get pulled. Is that kind of the way you've always coached, or did you pick that up somewhere? I, I don't feel like I want players, you know, looking over their shoulder, and, and we'll, you know, we'll we'll study the film and, and and talk to our guys about you know shot selection and uh, maybe other things that you could have done if, if it is a, you know a poor shot attempt, and uh, you know we hope that by now guys understand you know what they they're capable of doing on the floor and they don't try and do something outside of that and you know uh, really the mistakes that that infuriate us the most are are, are defensive mistakes or, or lack of effort mistakes and um, so very rarely w will a guy you know you know get pulled for for those reasons how would you have a, uh, evaluate save on goodman's take him in a little bit to kind of get back into it but tonight uh, was a bit more active than he had been the last few games. Yeah, he had, you know, Savon was was better, you know, with, with that um, and, and his defense uh, and, and the rebounding. And, you know, he's still he's still finding his way. And, uh, you know, I, I'm confident that, that he'll get back uh, to the level that that, uh, that he was at prior to, to, to being out for a while. Just looking ahead, what concerns you about Washington? I mean, a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> You know, obviously, Andrews is, is a, a premier player in the conference and, uh, you know, is, is a really good guard, strong, could shoot, gets a free throw line in there. They're just different. They're, um, their style, they want to create turnovers with their athleticism and uh, they have a great core of, of young players. So uh, they, they play relentlessly, you know. So we're, uh, you know, I hope we get our rest, you know, the next uh, 36 hours here. We got to... Uh, we got to get it and get ready for a, a really good team coming in.